So in 2010, when our family uh, moved here, Neil was about to start kindergarten. So it was at that time that we needed to create a solution for her and ultimately for other families that came later to the ranch to provide education for our family. And um, Escuela Santa Ana started that year. SI is the longest international private school standing. We offer curriculum all the way from pre-K, 3, 4, and 12th grade. So we are the only international private school experience covering all these grade levels. So currently there are 18 students enrolled. They are from Nicaragua, the U.S., and France. Um, our local families are business owners and operators and employees in the community and our um, expat families are either taking a gap year, remote workers, or employees of Rancho Santana. Small classes are amazing. You can really have individualized education for the students and meet them where their needs are. Um, it also involves their interests. If they want to learn more about one particular subject, you're able to kind of form the curriculum around that and then the friendships that they develop um, within the classes are really amazing too. ANSA is special for many different reasons. I think it's amazing that we're so close to the nature. We can go on a field trip to the beach. We can go to the stables. We have a farm right behind us. There are flowers growing and the playground. And then uh, the small class sizes, I think, is one of my favorite parts of ASA and just really getting to know each child individually. Well, we came to Rancho Santana on spring break initially and just had such a wonderful time and saw the value of potentially living here. And uh, in speaking with other families, we heard about the school. We learned about the school through a friend who lived here. When we visited on holidays, she was sending her son to school. And we all thought, wow, that's amazing. Her son is going at Rancho School. There's... So we visited it and we left back to the United States always thinking about this school in the back of our head. Um, and when, um, and when uh, the pandemic happened, we looked for an option for a school where our kids could be happy and be outside and be with other children while being safe. And we contacted the school and decided to, um, to move here. Having the school really close to where we live is priceless and the surrounding of Rancho is absolutely gorgeous, so it was a dream for our children and our family, and it's actually the best decision I think we've ever made as a family. And we got really, really closer, because uh, our kids are just so happier here than living in a city. Having the school at the ranch was definitely part of the reason that we chose to stay. Um, we, you know, part of part of our concern was like, where are our kids going to have the best education? And coming to Nicaragua was a huge decision for our family because where we lived in Wisconsin had a really good school system and really incredible teachers. So, in factoring in like, what could we could we work down here? Could we live? Where would our kids go to school? When we found the ranch school, we were very excited because we heard really good things about it. We heard good things about the teachers, and it was right on site and it was really close so that our kids could walk to and from school every day by themselves and they gain some independence and it's a really unique type of school. We're really happy with how much our daughters have changed uh, over the last few months while at ESSA. Uh, I would say confidence would be the number one uh, area of growth that we've seen, uh, really instilled by the teachers, but the opportunity to interact in a smaller classroom. Uh, I would say their uh, perspective uh, has has certainly broadened as they have a more global outlook to the education and they learn about the local, um, uh, the environment that we live in. Uh, so confidence, uh, perspective, and independence. But I was gonna say that adding on to that, just thinking about, um, about one thing I think is interesting because I think the ranch is, you know, the ranch is definitely its own environment and its own sort of like ecosystem, if you will. And I think it's great because our kids actually they do go off site. So they are really being exposed to a developing country as opposed to just being exposed to what's right in front of them. And I think that's unique because when, you know, when you're in a suburb in the United States or Canada or wherever it might be, 
you're typically not going out and exploring beyond your own suburb. So this gives them a little bit more, like to your point, um, a more global perspective on things, and they able, they're able to understand, you know, what's going on in the community and you know how they can have a hand in it. They are more cognizant about like. Uh, just about the environment too, because ESSA does not allow you to bring, um, to use uh, plastic bags. And I think that's one of the most, one of the coolest things about the school is that they have put that like environmental aspect into our kids, you know, mindset. I've definitely seen my children uh, change a lot and grow a lot since we've been here. Um, as I said, it's our third year at ESSA. And uh, I mean, first of all, they are, really picking up on Spanish and, uh, and the beautiful culture of Nicaragua, but also um, they're more in touch with sustainable farming and all these really important causes that are to us. And they uh, also just have developed extremely strong relationship with the community here and uh, their amazing teachers that we're so happy to, to be working with. So what makes ESSA unique, I think, would probably be the student to child ratio. They get really personalized uh, education. Their questions are immediately answered. Uh, it's a much more integrated um, dynamic within the classroom. Uh, and then I would say the integration into the outside, into the environment, uh, to go on a healthy heart walk uh, on Valentine's Day, to you know cultivate uh, plants uh, within the school playground, uh, uh, to visit a sustainable farm in the next town over. These are all things, uh, all experiences that they wouldn't have um, within their school system back in the U.S. And to add on to that, I think one of the great things about the school is that um, the kids can really kind of figure out what, build, build their own education with the teachers. They can have more of a one-on-one -on -one uh, learning experience with the teachers. So the teacher can say like, oh, okay, well, I see that, you know, your child is a little behind in this or a little ahead in this. We're gonna actually change the program to really meet their needs. And I think that's a really different kind of experience because if you have a child that's, you know, that's, that is a little bit more advanced or a little bit more behind, oftentimes they might get, they might not get the education that they need. And here they can really tailor the programming to the student, which I think is one of the biggest benefits of, um, of the school. Escuela Santa Ana is unique in that we get to take advantage of the resort setting that Rancho Santana provides. Um, the setting being in this community of Tola allows us to offer an experiential learning platform while we're also providing our students with a accredited U.S. education. Our graduates from our school get a U.S. high school diploma from the States and they also have the opportunity to take AP courses and honors courses in the U.S. Additionally, our platform is, um, has a virtual component which allows our families to travel as needed throughout the year and still stay up with their, with their child's schooling and education while they're traveling. We also are, um, are able to offer programs for families that are only coming for part of the year. Maybe they're coming for an extended stay for the winter for one to three months, and they're able to enroll their students in our school for that period of time. Um, I like the teachers and how they're nice and they let us be creative through our work. My favorite thing about us is all the art supplies because we can draw and be creative and imaginative and still learn all of our subjects. I would say the assignments the teachers give us and the fine ones and um, sometimes going in nature walks and field trips. Um, I think it's when I, I draw with my buddies, um, get creative with the, with my brain. And yeah, I think that's what I really like to do. So Anila has uh, finally made her decision and she's going to be attending university at Loyola Marymount University in Los Angeles. Um, she, we're really excited about it, not just for her, but also for the school. Neela is our first, one of our first students, started kindergarten in 2010, and she's our first graduate. So she's going all the way through the program, um, has been accepted to numerous universities in North America, as well as in Europe, 
and she's chosen LMU in Los Angeles. Um, it's an exciting time for all of us and also for our family in that we're not just you know, sending Neela off into the world to you know, become an adult and grow, but it was also such an achievement for us to um, know that we were able to you know, move down here many years ago, start this school for Neela and all the other you know, kids and, that, and families that live in the community and make it work. Um, you know, it was a big risk for us. We had never started a school before. Isabel and I were not educators, um, but with the help of Laura, who's our administrator, and many other teachers along the way, we were able to be successful, and, and uh, we have our first graduate, and that's Neela. Well, I've been here at the School of Santa Ana since kindergarten to now. I'll be the first graduate, first female graduate, and first graduate to ever have done their entire education here since kindergarten. Um, I've seen everybody, I've seen the school change locations, I've been here the entire time, and I'm very proud to say that I will be the first female graduate and first graduate overall. Escuela Santa Ana has a U.S. accredited curriculum that has helped me get into um, the college that I'll be going to, which is Loyola Marymount University in Los Angeles. And I am very proud to say that, and I do have mixed feelings about leaving Rancho Santana. I'm 50% sad, but 50% excited to go. And I'm very happy that Escuela Santa Ana has given me all the tools to send me off to university in the United States. Being such a small community, allows us to really get to know the students in a deep way. It's not just about teaching and, le and them learning, it's about getting to know them and the students getting to know the teachers. So there's really nothing you cannot love about ESSA.